I'm a strong believer that what you learn and do in your 20s can really make or break your life direction. And whilst we might not be able to control everything around us, there are a few things that we can control. The information we let into our lives and the ideas that we surround ourselves with can either help us grow or hold us back. That's why I want to share with you three ideas or concepts that are changing my life and hopefully might change yours too. So over the years, I've come across some ideas and concepts which have really transformed my thinking. Some have come from my traditional education and others from not so traditional sources. But that unique blend of experiences has really shaped me into who I am and allowed me to get the best of both worlds. Now, before I share with you those three ideas, I just want to let you know that whilst they may have been life changing for me, they may not even be applicable or realistic for you. However, I thought to myself, at the very least, if you hear the thought processes behind them, you might learn something new. Back in medical school, I was introduced to this one concept which really resonated with me. I was always looking for shortcuts to achieve the same results in less time. And what annoyed me was that some teachers could somehow teach me more in an hour than others could in several weeks. And so I'd wonder, why can't every teacher be like that? Why couldn't every learning experience be that efficient and productive? So the first concept that I really think about all the time is something called yield. Now yield can be best explained if we take it back to our chemistry classes back in school. Or if you watch Breaking Bad, think Walter White or Heisenberg and what he was up to. Let's say you create a chemical reaction between two things and you get two products at the end of it. Product A and product B. Now product A is something that you actually want, okay? You want to maximize this. And product B is the waste product, something you're trying to minimize. Now a high yield reaction is basically one which allows you to get almost entirely product A and almost no product B. In the show Breaking Bad, Heisenberg was basically famous for having the purest form of drugs. He basically knew how to make a high yield reaction which allowed him to have the purest form of crystal meth or whatever he had. I mean, you know, I wouldn't know this stuff. So let's convert that into real life, okay? Unless obviously some of you are living that type of life. Take for example, me making these YouTube videos. This allows me to stay creative, think more clearly and communicate more effectively, meet new people and possibly even earn money down the line. So there's plenty of good things which come from this one activity. Therefore, I would say it's very high yield, right? It takes off a lot of different boxes of what I would consider to be important in my life. On the other hand, if someone were to send me two hours to the nearest corner shop just to get some milk, that wouldn't be a very high yield activity because I could just order it online or something and save a lot of time and energy. Besides, I can't even drink milk because I'm allergic, so it's a very low yield activity there. I've also touched on this previously in my video, How to Design Your Future, where basically I recommend that you sit down and write down everything that's important to you in life and then choose a few select activities that take off the majority of them. However, there are a few exceptions to thinking like this. For example, spending time with family and friends might not help you earn more money or progress your career, but if it's important to you like it is to me, then it is still a very high yield activity because instead of having multiple different little boxes to tick off, spending time with friends and family is something like a very big box, okay? Doing so takes it off, which means it's very high yield. As I moved on from medical school, I discovered that my efforts were always rewarded in a very linear fashion. A few hours of work for a few hours of pay, nothing more. So I began to read books on how to build financial wealth and I ended up discovering something that experts call the miracle of compounding. Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. This concept of compounding interest or compounding results has really made me reconsider my career trajectory, how I approach my finances and lots more. So let me explain what it actually is. Let's imagine we have hundred pound in the bank. If every year we get an extra 10 pound, that would give us a financial growth that looks something like this, right? It's very linear. But if every year your money increased by 10% instead, then the first year you'd end up with 110 pounds, just like before. But the next year, that 10% increase would also apply to all the interest that you've accumulated in the years before. Essentially, you're gaining interest on interest. This effect is sometimes called the miracle of compounding because although we might understand the concept, our minds really underestimate how powerful it actually is. And just to prove that to you, Here's an example. If you invested 500 pounds every month into the stock market for 30 years, and at the end of each of those years, you had a 5% return, let's say, how much would you say roughly the total would be at the end of those 30 years? The answer is just over 400,000 pounds. But here's the crazy thing. The majority of that money has actually come from all the compound interest rather than all the 500 pound contributions 
combined. Your 500 pound contributions work in a linear fashion, just like we mentioned earlier, but the compound interest works exponentially. Now what's cool is that the effect of compounding works more than just with money. When you create things online, views, followers, engagement can all compound. And some people are lucky enough to see an exponential increase in the money they earn as a result of that. The same thing works with having your own business and much, much more. And so this realization came to me that my life was largely following a linear pattern. There was very few things that I was doing that would open the doors for exponential growth. My education was linear, my medical training was linear, even my salary was linear. But what would happen if I started to invest my money? What would happen if I started to create a body of work that compounded on itself online? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And although it's one big experiment, I'm really optimistic about how the results will turn out. Whilst the power of compounding is a slow game, there are some ways in which you can quickly and cleverly multiply your results. I'm not talking about small tips and tricks that help you get a little better, but ideas that can help you achieve orders of magnitudes more than what you currently are. So this last one is a relatively new concept that I've been applying to my life, and that is the concept of leverage. Now there's multiple definitions of leverage, but the one I'm specifically talking about is the one that was popularized by the prominent thinker on the internet called Naval Ravikant. Essentially, leverage is a force multiplier. For example, instead of teaching a classroom lesson where you're bounded by physical space and time, you could teach the same thing online where you leverage the internet to teach 10 times or even a thousand times more people. Or instead of hosting a solo podcast where you're always sharing to the same people, if you get a single guest on that podcast, then after every episode, that guest will share that episode with their entire audience. So with every new episode, your podcast is being shared with a whole new audience. Now that's leverage. The internet's brought about this global economy and there are tools out there that can help you scale almost any product or service. And I'm all about any new or creative ways to leverage my work in order to get more reach, more returns, all for the same amount of effort. The catch with this concept, however, is that leverage works both ways, but not a lot of people actually think about this. For example, putting yourself out there on the internet can leverage your growth massively. However, you do one thing bad or wrong and those powerful forces can turn against you. So when it comes to leverage, I think Uncle Ben put it best, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay, now whilst these are only some of the ideas that are actively influencing my life, I find that these are the ones that I keep coming back to time and time again. These simple words, although small, have so much power and meaning behind them. But the real magic comes from when you start to apply them to your own life and see the results actually unfold. So yeah, those are some cool ideas that I've been thinking about lately. I hope that you've learned something new or have decided to chase something that you've been thinking about lately. Make sure to drop a lemon emoji in the comments below so I know who the real legends are, who's watched all the way till the end, and let me know what ideas or concepts are changing your life. Also head on over to my personal website, fastwithjamshade.com, where I write weekly blog articles on topics like these and subscribe to my weekly newsletter, Life Lemons, to keep up with everything that I do. Otherwise, as always, Thank you for watching, keep doing what matters, and I'll see you next time.